what's up, Terrifics? I'm Michael Arches here at Pepcom 2017 here in New York City. I've got Danielle from Lego here. Lego is an amazing brand, very legendary. The story of Lego is tremendous. Yeah, the story of Lego is tremendous. And we're really excited, actually, to have a tech aspect to Lego, which is new this year. It just launched Lego Boost in August. So we're really excited to have it here. We have Lego Boost, as you can see, there's five different models. Right out of the box, you can build any one of these models, one at a time, of course. What are the age ranges? So I know that you can start with Duplo at a young age, and then you get to Lego, and then now you can do this. Is this at the same age as regular Lego? Is this about a five, six, seven, and up age, or is this something that's a little bit older? Right, so this, we, we built it for younger builders, so I'm not sure if you're familiar with Lego Mindstorms. That's sort of, this is like Mindstorms' little brother, so to speak. So this is made for children ages 7 to 12. So a lot younger, but it's simple coding. So it's made to be very intuitive, quick, they have quick success, very fast approach when you're on the app and you're using the different coding languages. So walk me through how it works. Right, so you would start, say you want to build Bernie the robot. You would click on him. I already have him built, so it's not going to show you, but it would take you step by step through the building instructions until you have him complete. And you'd go through various activities, getting to know Vernie, seeing what he can do, seeing what he's capable of, all the way until you're ready to go into a free canvas build. And this is the world where you can build anything that you want. And it's a little crowded right now because we've been stringing a lot of codes together. So you're just connecting him. And once he connects, you'll be able to access this. So we have a lot of code right here, but this would normally be a blank canvas. And it's a drag and drop. So you bring out the play button, and the kid will start to familiarize what each of the colors do. Green is movement, purple would be sound. And you just string various codes together, and there's no words anywhere in the app. So even children younger than seven who don't know how to read can understand this pretty quickly. So it's not coding the way we've thought of coding traditionally over the years. It's, it's an app, actual like program code that this says jump, or this says move up, and we then tell it, do this, then this, then this, then this, when I tell you to play, yeah. and, it, and it runs through it. So it's, a, it's kind of a new way of coding. That's correct. It's Lego's own coding language. It's very cool. Yes. And it makes it a lot more easy to get involved and, and easier to get involved. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it can be as basic as you want it to be, and it can be as complex as you want it to be. So for kids even older than 12 or even adults, they can have endless fun with it. I think it's great. How many different uh, toys are there to build, or realistically, it's kind of free play. You can build whatever you want. So you can build any of these five models. You can build all of them, take one apart, and build another. But the really, really exciting thing about this is that inside is there's a move hub, and this will bring to life any LEGO creation that you have at home. Excellent. That's pretty awesome. And this is available now? Yep. Available August 1st, $159.99. And you get one, one, one of them for 159 or you get all? They all? All the parts come in the box to build any of the models. Wow. So you can build them all. And the app you get with it. Too. The app is free, available in the App Store. Thank you very much. She's Danielle. I'm Michael. You're the Terrifics. At Be Terrific TV on all social media. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, be terrific.